Into the box, Billy Hamilton. He's Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Hey, that's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low-risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Line towards center field. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. Mariners forced to settle for one. Aroldis Chapman comes on to start the inning, and he'll have a huge lead to work with. Striding in once again, Marcus Semyon. And at this point of the game, I think it's clear that the plan of attack against the top of the order has worked. Well, when you've only surrendered one hit to the top three guys in the order up to this point in the game, you know you're doing something right, Matt. You're spot on. Whatever they discuss coming into this game has worked out beautifully. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Now another 2-2. Out -two. in front as this is skied in the air to straightaway left. Hanniger comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Up next for Oakland. So now it's Mark Canna. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Sends that one out of play for strike one. And here's a ball hit in the air. Freeman is over now and he's got it for route number two. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Chris Davis. He doubled earlier in the game one for two to this point. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Called strike 0 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One, two, three, go the A's. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7 nothing. Kyle Seeger will stand in again as we flash you back to the early stages of this ball game. There were fans still finding their seats as he launched his second home run of the game as he was off to a fast start indeed. High in the air out to center field. Mabin is there. Makes the play one away. Ready for another chance. Giancarlo Stanton. His career numbers against this pitcher. Four hits in 19 tries. He's also taken him deep four times. Chopped weakly to the left. Nunez takes it in. Throw gets him. Two down. The first baseman, number five. Digging in to Freddie try it again. Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Two for three for him so far, including a triple. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Two out, nobody on. Here's a high pop-up. Wendell is there for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Mariners are down on four pitches, and they... Stepping in and ready for another shot, for Stephen Vogt. He'll Hester. have the first crack at it here as we start inning number eight. And a fastball's in there for strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd, a foul ball. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Steven Vogt goes now down to become the first out in the eighth inning. Jason, Jason Garcia. Garcia stands in as he looks at a called strike. Chopped foul at the plate here, and it's 0-2. Ready with the 0-2. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Ready once again, Joey now Wendell. Batting. First two men in the inning have both gone down Joey's via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Chapman sets. Here's the 0 1. 
Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. Got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too. So striding in, Ken Griffey Jr. Off comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Ken Griffey Jr. Now here's a shot out toward the gap in right center. He's through first and hustling for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The baseball is a game of streaks and runs, and he is on one right now. No question, he's swinging the bat very well of late. And when that's the case, you can't wait to get in the batter's box. Definitely the case in this game. That's his second base knock. This one for extra bases. That's now two hits so far for him in this one. And now the runner's trying for third. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Boy, and call off the dogs already as this is down for extra bases. And the run is in to score from second. And he is in there with an RBI triple. Second base hit of the game for him. This one an RBI triple. And there's still nobody out, so this could be just the start of it. Here now is Mike Zanino. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Ball chopped foul here at the plate, and he's behind nothing and two. In front of the change up there is this is chopped foul at home plate. The 0 2 once more. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, look at the sliding stop. It's there and he's out. Wow, that was a great job to rob him of an RBI single. Showed some great athleticism and it winds up being an RBI ground out instead. Stepping in now, Mitch Hanniger. As he'll go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. He just ambushed him right here. First pitch fastball, he was looking for it, and the boom, base hit. Second baseman, D. Gordon. Here's D. Gordon now. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. But a strong throw gets him at second, so the sacrifice does not pay off here. The batter, number six. Here's Billy Center Hamilton Bender, standing in. Billy struggling Hamilton. so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. On attempt misses. The throw down. Not in time as he steals second. Well, this pitcher's out there just trying to get hitters out, and he's having a hard time doing that. So as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling the running game as he should be. Two out here and a runner at second. Runner goes for third. Pitch swung on and missed. The throw is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. From the belt, the pitch. Pitch is away, but it's swung on and grounded to second. Throw on to first, and a good job of working out of that one with just limited damage as the inning is over. So it's two runs on three hits, no air. And that'll bring up the Brazilian-born Paulo Orlando. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. 
digging in, Renato Nunez. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. The 0 2 on his way from Chapman. Hit out towards second. Gordon is up with it. On to first. And now the A's are down to their final out. Center fielder number 12. A's down to their Cameron final out Mabin. now. And that'll bring in the center fielder, Cameron Mabin. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Boy, that fastball is just sizzling up there. One and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And that's cut on and missed. So now the A's are down to their final strike of the ball game. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. A 9 nothing shutout final in this ball game. The Seattle Mariners get the win on the heels of four home runs. Noah Syndergaard hangs win number 11 on his line, permitting only two hits in six complete innings. Giovanni Gallardo permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. Aroldis Chapman takes the rare three-inning save his seventh of the campaign. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out the shownation.com. No errors. They left five men on base. For the Athletics, no runs on only two hits. No errors. They left one man on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 15 minutes. A reminder that extra postgame trains will be available at the King Street Station, located just north of Safeco Field. Metro Transit buses are also available at stations on First Avenue, Royal Brom Way, and Edgar Martinez Drive.